All right, this is going to be how to do a valve adjustment on your 2001 to 2005 Honda Civic or Acura EL, the Canadian version of it. Um, sorry for my voice, I've had a cold for a while here. So, anyway, you're going to want to pull that bolt out and a few things so you can get the AC lines out of the way. You're going to pull these out, you're going to pull your coil packs out, you're going to pull your throttle cables off not much to it really uh, and then once we get under there there's gonna be like four bolts or five bolts uh, that'll pull your valve cover off so hey <clears throat> all right so uh, I pulled off the coil packs and the rail that goes with that I moved this AC line out of the way I have all these bolts loosened up so basically now you're gonna grab a hold of the top of it and pull it off and just be mindful there's a gasket on that um, then we're gonna to have to be able to turn the motor over there's a number of ways you can do this some people take off this cover so you can see things a little better and you can turn it from the nut there or you could uh, take the tire off and you go into the bottom crank pulley but I'm gonna try something and it's gonna be something I've never seen done but I, I don't see why it wouldn't work so I'm going to jack the car up on one side so the tire's off the ground on this side, put it in fifth gear, and then turn the tire. And I should be able to turn the motor over like that. So we'll give it a shot. All right, so you're going to find top dead center. And it's hard to see this. I'm going to turn off flashlight. Okay, so to find top dead center, you're going to look for these little ticks. You can see one right down there flush with the head. You can see one right down there flush with the head. And then you're going to look and you're going to make sure that the key shaft or the keyway in the shaft is pointing straight up in line with that little tick right there. As long as one of those uh, bars right there is too. So that's going to be your top dead center for cylinder one. So now you can go ahead and adjust the valves for the cylinder one. All right, so I've adjusted that. Uh, three of them were out, so what I did is I take a wrench, bump, put it over like that, you take and loosen this off, then you take a screwdriver and you adjust it until it feels tight with the feeler gauge for the spec that you want, which for this I was setting the for 10 thou, and those were 8 thou, then you're going to tighten that back down by, and while you're holding it with the screwdriver. And then you're going to move on to the next cylinder. So to do that, you're going to look here. So looking down here where we're at, you can see one ticks right there and one ticks right there. So what you're going to do is turn it 90 degrees, which is going to put that tick directly over top of that little nub right there. So the way I'm doing it is turning the tire in fifth gear. There, you can see the tick there. It's not quite dead on yet, but. That looks pretty good. Now, I should put, yeah, the cylinder's top dead center now. Now you're gonna do the same thing again. All right, so it's time to turn it to the next cylinder now. So I got this one in spec. You can see the ticks directly above. Now we are gonna turn it till this tick is right down here flush with the head. Okay, now that's going to allow us to do this cylinder five here. Yeah. 
So for the last cylinder, which would be number two, uh, what we're gonna do, find the tick down there, and you're gonna look on this side, and there's a tick lined up there. You're gonna line that tick with the top of there, that little nub again, so. And that's it. Now we're gonna adjust the valves on cylinder number two, I guess it is here. <laughs> 